are here at the San Antonio Zoo, and when baby animals get to a zoo or are born in a zoo, it can be very exciting. But sometimes they may need some help growing up. So Anita Santiago, mammal manager here, is going to tell us all about one special little project you've got going on. Right. Thank. Uh, well, first of all, we're right. They're right behind us are the Angle and Colobus, and this morning we had a baby born. However, uh, about a month ago, uh, we had a baby born from one of the other females, and unfortunately, for, we're not quite sure, but for various reasons, that mom wasn't letting that baby nurse, so we decided to step in and start hand-rearing her. Do you want to meet her? Oh, yeah. All right. Her name's Matata, and I think you'll love her. Matata? Matata. Like Hakuna Matata? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Hi. So okay. this is so Matata. This is Matata. Hi, Matata. Okay, so what uh -huh. you're going to do is yeah. you're going to just hold on to her nice and tight. You're going to feel she's really warm. Oh, yes. She needs to stay warm. Stay warm. So hold on to her. Like that. There, there you go. go. You got Can't her. See. Okay. And oh. you are now an oh, ant so to a colobus hello. monkey. Hi. Where are they from? These are African monkeys. African so they're monkeys. so central part of Africa. So Angle and Colobus are important because they're sort of they're called a flagship animal, meaning if you have them in your trees, your your forest is healthy. Oh. Yes. Okay. So okay. it's important to have these guys. So in the hand raising process, we're gonna teach her some things. What are we gonna start with? So we're gonna the first thing we're gonna start with is we're gonna head over to some ropes and show and kinda let her work her muscles. Okay. Encourage her to climb. There you <laughs> there go. You go. Yes. There you go. Yes. And then you just hold on to her. Yeah, yeah. And she's back, she's back, she's back, she's back. <laughs> there you All go. right, good, good girl. girl. Yeah. Good girl. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I know. I know. What? What? Do you want here? You want here? Okay. Oh, she just wants to be oh, held. Okay. Oh. oh. I can't stand it. Just hold on to her arms like this. Okay. And just let her pull up and like let her a little, pull up. Like oh, a little okay. pull up. Like a little pull up. Okay. Okay, here we go. We're going to do pull ups. That's one. <laughs> okay, hold up. Again. Two. Look at you. You're doing so good. Yes. Ready again. Three. Okay, good. You did really well. Okay. Oh, yeah. Good girl. Yeah. Nice job. You're a natural aunt. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'm going to have to come visit you all the time. The other thing that we hey. spend a large time, a large amount of time mm -hmm. doing is basically just holding her, holding her close. This is just to keep her really nice and tight against okay. someone's body. Put her here. So we slide her in. Slide her in. All right. And then let her go to the bottom. And she'll up. climb around in a little bit in there, okay. but she'll move around. Sometimes her head pokes out. So how many hours a day is she, are you guys, you know, working with her to teach her how to climb to this? So like, she goes it? home with somebody every night. So okay. there's somebody every night that's handling her. Okay. But also during the day, we have several people who a couple of hours at a time will hold her. So it is an all day long, all day long thing. Yes. Very rarely uh, is she put down and put in an incubator. Right. But, uh, sometimes we do just to give her a little rest. But mm -hmm. for the most part, she is in someone's arms. <laughs> Anita, thank you so much for letting me monkey around here at the zoo. Okay. That was incredibly cool to do. Well, and I'm glad you could visit with us. I'm glad you got a chance to work with uh, with our Matata. Hopefully you come back. You're now an official aunt, so you got to come back. I'll see how she's doing. Yeah, 